So, um, just picked up a limited edition kettle and uh, let's get this focused in here a little better. Uh, so, yesterday um, I did a uh, cook and uh, I called it a sear and slow and uh, showed you the way to do it uh, just by making uh, your charcoal pan and stuff for under five dollars uh, but what I found out is when it was all done my wife she's like this is the best steak ever and I'm like ever like best one I've ever made you what and she said no the best she's ever had and uh, you know she likes to add steak sauce she didn't put any steak sauce on this so I thought I would go into a little more explanation of what I did um, so what I did is a week ago I picked up a four pack of ribeye steaks from Costco uh, they're probably what maybe three quarter inch thick they're not very thick ones but they're they're good cuts of meat um, and I seasoned them with a steak rub uh, Weber uh, Chicago steak style rub um, I put uh, probably a teaspoon chunk of butter on them and some fresh thyme and then I vacuum sealed them and I stuck them in the freezer and they were in there for a week uh, before I pulled them out to cook them and then I did the uh, reverse sear method you'll see in the video where I started out with a uh, hot bank of coals but I cooked the steaks indirect uh, until it got up to 85 degrees internal temp uh, then I flipped them over and uh, let them go at that time I started more coals in my chimney chimney and uh, once the steaks hit uh, about 115 I actually pulled them off and uh, took the, oil, the hot grate out, um, dumped in the hot coals, and uh, let it really heat up good, the grill. Uh, then I brought the steaks back out. That just took a couple of minutes. And I brought the steaks back out and did the cold grate method where I put a fresh grate on there, uh, put the steaks on the hot side so they are direct for one minute a side. Uh, after a minute, I rotated the grill uh, what 180 degrees so the cold side now was back over the hot flip the steaks over and let them go for another minute and I gotta tell you they came out perfect as far as the pink the doneness and you'll see and like I said my wife was like I'm so impressed she was blown away so uh, you know the bottom line is you can do it uh, with a charcoal basket and then you know put foil over uh, where the basket isn't um, so that you're creating the all the air to go up through your coals and then the other thing that I'd like to point out make sure you have your top vent uh, turned away from the fire so then now your heat and everything's got to roll up over the top uh, to escape out the top vent um, anyway uh, do you need to buy the expensive slow and sphere? They are nice. I'm going to tell you right now, you know, I'm, I'm a machinist. I do a lot of work with metals and things like that. Stainless, that's very impressive. They're made out of stainless. I've looked at the welds. The welds are, you know, spot on. Um, yeah, I tell you, they're, they're probably worth the money because they're going to last forever. Um, but if you need to do it and you don't have them, there's other ways to do it. That's the bottom line. Uh, and you can still do great steaks uh, that way. Um, would I buy one? You know, I'd love to have one. Uh, just because I know the quality that it's in them. So, uh, if you buy them, that's great. But if you don't, you know, that's up to you. So, anyway, uh, keep on grilling and uh, enjoy life. Until next time. Regulators. You regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good, too.
But you can't be any geek off the street. Gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean, earn your keep. Regulators! Mount up! Here's our steak. We'll just cut right in through here. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that pink. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Let's just take a little pinch here and see what it should taste like. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Mmm. 
can never go wrong with a ribeye. That's what I'm saying. I bet you the camera person would love to just taste it, honey. How about you take a bite? Tell me what you think. That is really good. Super yeah. tender and wow. juicy. Yeah, you can just see the juice flowing mm -hmm. right off of it. Good. Wow. So you can set up a slow, or I'm sorry, a sear and slow poor man style using a aluminum pan and tin foil. Enjoy. Keep on grilling.